Hey guys, Soccer from Socky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about a free, powerful, built in tool for all Samsung Galaxy smartphones that you can use right now. It is going to allow you to boost your productivity and get things done. I'm talking about this powerful app that also has a widget which gives you highly customizable to do lists right on your screen. You can have multiple lists and you can have different sizes. You can customize this as you please, but it is a powerful widget. It is completely live, so I can tap on it to get things done on the fly. And everything is nicely categorized, okay? So let's dive in and get started right away. All right, so the app that I'm talking about is gonna be pre-installed on your Samsung by default, and the app I'm talking about is the Reminders application. However, I'm not talking about the actual Reminders application. I'm talking about the widget that a lot of people simply do not use, and that is right over here, which is powerful and loaded with features. So this is the Reminders widget connected to the Reminders application, which is this one right here, which is a stock application. But this widget basically makes everything visible to you on your home screen and in my case, you can see I'm using a dedicated home screen for my reminder widget that I'm using as a to-do list. So here we have my past reminders. Here we have my reminders that are coming up. These are just examples. Here's reminders with no alerts. And then here's reminders that are completed. So if I complete anything right here, it goes down over here. You can see it's gonna happen in real time. So it is a dynamic widget, okay? So let me first show you how to put this on your screen. So basically, if you wanna do what I do, if you wanna dedicate a whole screen, all you do is you pinch the screen, you go over and you tap on plus, okay? That's gonna give you a free canvas to work on. So I'm gonna go right over here, then you press and hold, and then you go to widgets. Then you scroll all the way down to R and you're gonna find the reminder widget. Now you are gonna get options of two widgets. These are selected reminders that you can customize. This one is category based reminder. Now I would just go with the all reminders but you can customize it. I'll show you what's going on here. This is also customizable so it doesn't really matter. So you dump this on the screen and the first thing that you wanna do is you want to actually resize it. By default, that's the size, but you can make the size larger, as you can see. You can even have some apps here at the bottom if you want, but in my case, I just like to press and hold on it and maximize it to get a full view. Now, when you have the widget available, you don't really need to access the Reminders application. So if you want to actually add a brand new to-do list, with or without alerts. What you do is you simply tap on plus right here and that's gonna bring up the reminders application. So I am gonna do a test reminder, okay? I want you guys to see all the details. So if I pick a time, I can do an all day or for a specific time. And if I tap on today, I can pick a different date. So let's just say 25th, that's that. I'm gonna scroll down. Do you want to repeat? What kind of alert do you want to get? Whatever. So you do all that stuff, you tap on save, and your to-do task is gonna show up right here. And again, here we have on the top, you always get the past unfinished tasks. Then you get your future tasks, and then you get your no alert tasks. And then here you get the completed. Now what's a no alert task? That's something that does not have a due date. You can just have it on the screen to just get it done randomly. To activate that, you tap on plus, all right? And you give it a title, run for, and you don't pick a time. So you tap on save, and that's gonna show up right here as a no alert task. And again, once you're done, you can simply check it right from here, or you can tap on the text and they'll bring up the actual reminder and you can make modifications like editing or even completing from here or deleting or sharing whatever you need to do. And of course, that's not over. I'm gonna show you one more thing. So on the top, you can see it says all reminders. So I can actually tap on the arrow and that's gonna expose all the options. So if I were to pick scheduled tasks, which have a timeline, now you can see it's only showing the scheduled reminders on the top here, but of course you'll always see your completed scheduled reminders at the bottom. 
Now, if I tap this again, and if I go to no alert reminders, I can tap on that as well. Now I'm gonna see my no alert reminders. And also, at the completed section at the bottom, you are actually seeing the no alert completed reminders. Now, in my case, I like to do all, so you can see everything at a glance, okay? I just keep it on the side, on a side screen, as you can see, but you can create multiple to-do lists and have multiple widgets. And in that case, what you would do is you would tap on widgets and you could go down here to reminders and then you can actually choose selected reminders. So if I grab this guy, I can have it here and now I can tap to select a reminder. So I can select this one, this one, and this one. That could mean most important reminders for me. So I can even have that in a smaller version on the first screen, and I can have my secondary reminders on the second screen, okay? So there's a lot of customization going on here. The Reminders app itself is a powerful app, but the widget is the one that people are simply not using, but it is gonna boost your productivity. It's gonna get things done for you with an easy to glance, workable widget right over here. Okay, guys? Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.